Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today, Jorge? Fine, very fine. Okay, that's good, amazing. Okay, really good. <clears throat> How was your day? Uh, day is excellent. Excellent. Did you work today? Yes, I worked at uh, half time. Yeah. Half, right? Yes. Okay, that's good. Okay, very nice. <clears throat> We're gonna start in a minute, right? Okay. okay. Okay, really good. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? So, so, my. <laughs> okay, okay, that's good. Jose Jimenez, ahí. Yes. Light. No, hombre, estoy en tinieblas, teacher. <laughs> On my left. Como no, pero es que me salgo de ahí. Ah, okay, okay, that's good. Uh -huh. no okay, good evening, Tatiana. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Okay, very good. That's awesome, right? Okay, lo bueno es que estamos vivitos y coleando. Okay, ready, kid. Good evening. ¿Y por qué te asusté? Okay, good evening, Gabriela. How are you today? Good evening. I am tired. Tired. You look, but you look happy, right? <laughs> okay, no problem. I feel the same. I feel a little tired, but when I see you, I feel, you know, I wake up and feel better. Right. Okay, excellent. <laughs> okay, that's good. Um, Miguel Crespin, how are you today? Miguel, are you there? Okay, Miguel is connecting right now. Miguel, good evening. Okay. Miguel, how are you today? Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Hello, hello, Carlos. How are you? Okay, that's good. I'm fine, teacher. I'm good. I'm really good. I'm good. Okay, Carlos Martinez. Good evening. How are you today? Good evening. Bye. Thank you. Okay. Really good. Amazing. Okay. Okay. Good evening, Williams. How are you today? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. That's good. Awesome. Right. Okay, students. I know that this time, you know, sometimes we feel tired, but <clears throat> we have to keep in mind that. This is uh, an English classes online, and this is for you. Así que intentemos hacer nuestro mejor esfuerzo, and let's enjoy today's class, right? Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. eh, recuerden poner the full name, poner el nombre completo. Eh, a veces se cambia, a mí me toca eh, ponerlo todos los días, así que pónganlo siempre, porque es uno de los requisitos que me solicitan. Okay, that's good. Okay, students, uh, we're gonna start with today's class. And do you remember that we were talking about 
has to and have to for obligation, right? Yep. Yesterday class we were talking about this. Yeah. Okay, Marvin, good evening. How are you today? <laughs> good evening. Very well, teacher. Okay, okay, that's good. That's awesome, right? Okay, a veces no activan el micrófono, pero no, no, no se preocupen. I can read your lips. <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay, continue. <coughs> Basically, I'm going to start with a warm up activity, right? Tenemos una warm up, una actividad de calentamiento. Y vamos a hacer un feedback about yesterday class, right? Uh, we were talking about obligations. Obligations, you can use have to or has to. Eh, has to, el exclusivo para las terceras personas. Yeah, really good per person, right? Okay, entonces, uh, what we're gonna do here? ¿Qué vamos a hacer ahorita? <coughs> eh, ustedes tienen que <coughs> el nombre, así que por favor, pay attention to your name. Y tienen que hacerme una oración de acuerdo a la imagen que van a ir viendo. Por ejemplo, voy a iniciar yo. Eh, imagínense que acá vemos un eh, Gmail abierto ahí. Y la sentence que voy a decir es, I have to check my email every day, right? Have to. ¿Es una obligación? Yes. Yeah, sure, right? Probably because uh, of my work. Debido a mi trabajo, it could be an obligation. Really good, have to. I have to check my email every day. Okay. In this way, students, you have to build or create a sentence using the picture that you're gonna see over here, right? Okay, good evening, Fabricio. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine, thanks. That's good. Amazing, really good. Okay, let's get started with this activity, students. Uh, what do you see here? Uh -huh. What can you see? Pile up. Pile up. Yeah, yeah, pile up. Really good, Carlos. Okay, Carlos, can you help me to create a sentence with pile up? <coughs> I have to pile up the package. Okay, okay, really good, amazing. Congratulations, Carlos Herrera. Muy bien. Thank you. Okay, really good. Um, let's see. Let's continue with this. Okay, what about this one? Uh -huh. <clears throat> Tatiana? Tatiana? Uh -huh. I, have, I have to sing. Sign? Uh, ah, sign the yeah. document. The document, really good, nice, amazing, Tatiana. Congratulations, good job. Okay, continue with this. Um, let me see. Uh, okay, Jorge Alberto. <coughs> Jorge. <laughs> I have to clean my computer. Okay, really good, my computer. Okay, amazing, really good, congratulations. Okay, students, as I see, uh, this is really easy for you. Esto es muy fácil para ustedes, a piece of cake, right? Es facilísimo, have to and has to. <clears throat> Recuérdense que este se va a utilizar, I'm sorry, because when you have to say an obligation, probably in your workplace, in your family, I don't know, whatever you are, right? Uh, when you hear this, have to or has to, it will be an obligation, right? Así que recuérdense los gentlemen, si escuchan de una lady, algo que tiene have to or has to, tienen que cumplirlo, right? Yep. Okay. <coughs> y vice versa. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's continue with this. Okay, right now we're going to have the attendance list. The attendance list, right? Okay, here we go. Veamos, let's see. 
we can um, I'm gonna share this screen give me a minute yeah okay okay veamos ahí chicos Jaime Ernesto Hernández Navarrete No? Okay, really good. Sorry for Jaime. Jose Vladimir Jimenez Escobar. Kitoy. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Present. Present. Yeah, really good. Eh, Jose Vladimir, eh, yesterday class, sí, sí estuvo, ¿verdad? No, este, fue el primer día que sí estuve, pero por las cuestiones de las lluvias me desconecté. Ah, okay. Y ayer igual estuvo lloviendo fuerte, no me pude conectar. Okay, okay, really good, that's why. Okay, no problem, really good. Okay, Carlos Enrique Martinez, que no ves? Okay, really good. Eh, Wendy Saray Ponilla. No, right, okay. <laughs> okay, students. Um, eh, recuérdense que a mediados de la clase vamos a volver a pasar lista por lo que se ingresan tal vez más tarde por algún compromiso, ya que algunos nos comentaban que tenía una meeting about your work, right? Okay. A meeting. Yeah, yeah, meeting, yeah, really good. José Ángel Santos Martínez. No, right, ok. Ok, Gabriela Merari Zamora Orellana. Present. Really good, Gabriela. Jorge Alberto Ortiz Molina. Present. Really good. Eh, Carlos Alfonso Alvarado Hernández. Carlos Alfonso. Sí, Carlos Alfonso Alvarado. Ok. Uh, Fernando de Jesús Roldán Torres. Ok. Uh, Carlos Antonio Mejía Hernández. Carlos Antonio. Ok. Um, let me see. William Alexander Martínez Enríquez. Ok, really good. Amazing. <laughs> Miguel Ángel Alexander López. Presente. Really, really good. Ok, Marlon Ernesto Rodríguez Sandoval. Present teacher. Really good. Eh, Rodrigo Alexander Maravilla Vasco. No. No yet, right? Really good. Ok, Clarisa Yamilet Chacón. Carisa, no yet. Ok, Daisy Elizabeth Racino. Ok. Ok, Tatiana Juan Torres. I am here, teacher. Really good, Tatiana. Marvin Ernesto Alfaro Campos. I'm here, teacher. Ok, really nice, Marvin. Carlos René Herrera. I'm here, teacher. Ok, really good. Y Fabricio Alexander Jiménez. I hear teacher. Okay. Eh, ahorita acaba de ingresar Carlos René Herrera. Ok, Carlos René. Ah, no, no, Carlos. No. Carlos Alfonso. Carlos Alfonso, present. Ok, Carlos Alfonso, ready aquí. Early, early. Ok, nice. Buen tiempo. Ok, students, uh, let's continue to the class. Okay. okay, who's playing the battery, right? Okay, let's see this. Okay. Okay, let's see this. Okay, students, uh, we're going to continue with unit number one, right? And today class, we're going to see an uh, interesting topic. Uh, somebody who help me to read it, please. The topic for today's class. Okay, who wants to read it? Okay, Jose, 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 go ahead. Good night, teacher. I'm going to incorporate the class. 
Ah, ok. José Ángel. Ok, José Ángel. Ok, chicos, eh, denme un minuto, vamos a agregar a la lista José Ángel. Eh, para que no se quede ahí, without the attendance. José Ángel Santo Martínez, right? Correcto. Ok, diga present. Present. Really good. Nice. Ok. <coughs> Okay, here we go. Okay, students, so today today class we're gonna see the topic and will be can for information and possibility, right? Can you have an idea what does it mean? Can can what is the poder, poder. power? Yeah, yeah, poder, pero no the power ahí de de Goku ni nada de eso, right? Is the <laughs> okay. Ok, can for information and possibility. Really good. Vamos a utilizar can para dar información o una posibilidad. Ok, let's see this. Uh, before to continue with today's class, we got the lesson objectives. So students, um, we're going to, uh, I know somebody has to read the objectives. Ok. Thank you, Carlos Alfonso. Help me to read this. Okay. Specific. Part participant will, will be able to tell yep. about how and where people and where people can stock. Yeah. Certain, certain, yeah, certain yeah, I was place. Okay, really good. Thank you, Carlos Alfonso. Congratulations. Really, really good. And, yeah, the class objective. Yeah, yeah, sure. At, at the end of the class, participants will be able, able to know how to use can for information and possibility. Possibility, yeah, really good. Thank you, uh, Carlos Alfonso. Really nice work. Okay, students, as you see, eh, tenemos okay. dos ob objectives. El primero nos dice Carlos ahí que va a ser, ustedes van a ser capaces de hablar. Cómo y dónde eh, las personas pueden stack. Stack, what does it mean stack for you? Apilar. Apilar, really good. It's, it's almost the same, right? Stack. Eh, apilar o almacenar, como sea, algún producto en su lugar de trabajo. Y el objetivo de la clase es que ustedes van a ser capaces de saber o utilizar can for information and possibility, right? Ok, espero que lo logremos, así que uh, let's get started with this. Ok, eh, all the time as I told you before, uh, we're going to use full sentence, we're going to have this useful sentences, right? Estas son useful, what does it mean useful for you? Useful. Útiles. Útiles, really good, útiles. Aquí son unas oraciones o palabras útiles. Yeah, que vamos a utilizar durante la clase. Useful. Keep in mind this. Okay. We're going to start with this one. Uh, how do you say this in English? Store. Yeah, store. What does it mean, store? Almacén. Okay, very good. Almacén. Pero en este caso sería como the actual. Bodega. That's a warehouse. Warehouse. Yeah. Warehouse. Yeah, in this case, a store is the, the girl, the actual, right? Almacenar. Yeah, really good. Thank you. Almacenar. Congratulations. Really good work. Okay, then we have this. How do you say this word? Apilar. Okay, apilar. Really good. Stack, right? 
Eh, ¿Se recuerdan que había otra forma de decir apilar? ¿Cómo era? Pile up. Pile up. Ok, you can use pile up. Pile up. Yeah. Like, what is this one? Manipular. Ok. Handle. Handle. Manipular. Handle with curve. Manipular con curve. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> handle with curve, right? Really good. Handle. Manipular. No manipular sentimientos, sino que es eh, manejar algo, llevarlo de un lugar a otro, right? Ok, uh, what about this one? How do you say this? Estante. Estante. Ok, ok. Estantes, yes. In English? Shield. Shield. Shelf, yes. Shelf. 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 Yeah, really good. Ok, students, uh, please repeat after me. Store. 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 Okay. Store. Stack. 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 Handle. 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 Shelves. 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 Yeah, okay, that's good. Okay. <laughs> Keep in mind this. Store. Almacenar. Guardar. Stack. Apilar. Handle. Manejar. De un lugar a otro. Llevar a... Okay. Shelves. Son estantes. Really good. Okay. Continue with this. Right now, we're gonna work. Um, okay, we're gonna work uh, with the grammar part, right? We got K for possibility. Yeah. Okay, let's see this. Tenemos can for possibility, uh, but we're gonna see can have a lot of uh, options that you can use. For example, you can use it for possibility or ability. For example, uh, Tatiana. Help me to read this sentence. I can swim. Yeah, I can swim. Yeah. Is that a possibility or an ability? Pardon? Is a possibility or ability? Ability. Yeah, really good. Thank you. Eh, si alguien dice I can swim, podría ser both, right? Una habilidad. O una posibilidad, porque no sabemos ni lo hemos visto nada. Puede que se nos ahogue ahí. Muy bien. Ok, continue with this. Also, we're going to use a can for permissions. Permission. How come? Let's see this. Eh, Miguel Ángel, tell me to read. Uh, two. Uh, you can use my pen. Ok, really good. You can use my pen. ¿Qué quiere decir esto? Que si puedes si puede, tú puedes utilizar mi lapicero. Ok, really good. Entonces aquí le estamos dando un... No, permiso. 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 Yeah, permiso. Permission, right? Ok. Uh, notice an important part here. Cuando utilizamos can, most of the time, uh, the verb with the third person, we're going to add S. Uh, pero con can se omite esa regla. ¿Ya? Yeah? Uh, for example, he can speak English. He can speak English, right? Él puede hablar inglés. No vamos a agregar una S ni esta partícula to. Bien. So can. Solo con can es exclusivo para eso. Muy bien. Really good. Okay, continue with this. Tenemos, uh, we're going to have some sentence in affirmative way and negative way. Afirmativo, solo decimos can. Can, right? Negativo, decimos can't. Can't. I can't. Yeah, can't. Muy bien. Or, or you can say cannot. Cannot. Cannot, so whatever you want, right? Can't or cannot. Uh, let's see some, some example here. Okay, uh, let me see, Gabriela. Uh, can you help me to read the first one? Uh -huh. Gabriela, Gabriela Merari, right? Okay, sorry. Okay, no problem. I can speak English. Okay, really good. That's an, an affirmative, right? Eso yeah. es cierto. Uh, she speaks English really good. Así que vamos, genial. I can speak English really good. 
Thank you, Gabriela. Eh, Etsy, si quisiéramos decir eso en eh, algo negativo, eh, I will say, I can't speak French, right? I can't speak French. Y es cierto, yo no puedo hablar francés. Ok, that's good. Eh, just in the morning, right? Ok, let's see these students. Um, ok, we're going to have some other example, right? Ok, let me see. Yeah. Ok, uh, Tatiana. Tatiana, read this one. Can, he can drive a truck. Yeah, really good. He can't drive a truck, right? Okay, amazing. Él no puede manejar un qué? Tractor. Tractor. Oh, muy bien, really good. Okay, let's see. Marvin, help me to read this one. Yeah, she can play the guitar. Guitar. Yeah. Guitar. Yeah, really good. Amazing. Okay. Eh, thank you, Marvin. Ok, veamos acá, chicos. The last one. Eh, Carlos Alfonso. Ya. Yeah. Uh, Carlos, are you there? Ok, let's see. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Problem con... Ah, with your problem de audio. Con el audio. No problem. I'm going to help you, uh, Carlos. Vamos. Read this one. In, it can swim. Okay, it can swim. Okay, really good. It can swim. It, it can't fly. It can fly. Really good. Thank you, Carlos. Really good. Okay, chicos, uh, as you see here, uh, we can use can for affirmative, right? Si ustedes sure. hablan de alguna afirmación, we're going to say yes, can. Yes, tell me. One question. Yeah, me. Um, cuando es um, en las formas negativas, yeah, yeah. Cuando, cuando hablamos de can, de, de, de perdón, eh, de can't, solo va a ser para, para eh, primeras personas y el cannot o en ambas se pueden ocupar. Ok, ok. You can use in both, right? En ambas, en ambas. Ah, ok. Solo que can not es la forma prolongada, la forma larga, por decirlo así. Y can ah, okay. is the contracted form. Es la forma contractada. Yes? Ok. Thank okay. you, teacher. You're welcome. Ok, let's continue with this, student. Um, basically, um, we got it this. If we want to talk about the plural way, eh, si ustedes notan, no cambien nada. We can play football. You can see the star. They can dance, right? In the affirmative way. And it's happened the same in the negative way. Okay. Eh, ¿Estamos claros cómo formular una oración con Ken? Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, read it. Solo ponemos el pronombre, plus can, plus otro verbo si queremos agregar, y un complemento, right? Y ahí se convierte en una posibilidad, a possibility. For example, if I say, hey students, I can fly. I can fly. ¿Me creerían eso? No. No. All right, but it's a possibility. Yes. <laughs> Probably in my life, right? <laughs> Probablemente en mis sueños, pero es una posibilidad. Ok. En un avión. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Really good. Oh, en un avión. <laughs> Muy no bien. Yeah, thank you. Ok, students. Uh, that's what, what we're going to do with this. Si es negativo, solo ponemos not. Can not. Or can't. Yes? Ok, very good. But in this case, we're going to have an important thing that you can use with can. Y es cuando nosotros queremos formular una question. Una question. ¿Qué vamos a hacer, chicos? Darle vuelta, o... Cambiar el verbo. Ponerlo sí. primero. Yeah, we're going to change the position, right? At the beginning of the sentence, right? And also we're going to have what? 
Can they? Can I speak English? Okay. okay. Can they speak Spanish? Can I speak English? But all the time, is going to be going to put at the end a question mark. Question mark. Yes. Uh, if you notice, students, uh, the question mark we're going to have at the end. Solo lo vamos a tener al final, no al principio. Right? Okay, muy bien. Entonces, acá tenemos una affirmative and una question. Let's see this example. Rodrigo, can you help me to read it, please? The affirmative sentence. Uh, they can speak Spanish. Okay, really good. Now, ask the questions. Can they speak Spanish? Okay, really good. What happened with this? We change the position of this. The verb in the pronouns, right? Cambiamos la posición del verbo y del pronombre. Uno pasa al inicio y el otro después. Ok, es sumamente fácil, así que no va a haber dónde eh, perdernos acá. Y las short answer or possible answer is Yes, they can. No, they can't. Or they cannot. Ok, eh, let's see an important word here. Eh, Marvin asked me a few minutes ago about can't and cannot. Esta es la forma negativa de can. Eh, ¿Puedo? En este caso sería no puedo. Que obviamente eso casi no lo usen porque ustedes sí pueden. Right? Ok. Entonces, acá, chicos, eh, si ustedes quieren utilizar the construction form, you're going to say can't. Um. Can, can they? Yeah, can't. But if you want to say the longer way, you have to say cannot. Cannot. No. Yeah. Okay. Everything is clear? Everything is clear? Yep. Questions about this? No. Everything is clear. Okay, really good. Okay, students, if you don't have any question, we're going to continue with paying for information. If you want to give information to a person, to your boss, to a friend, whatever you want, what you are going to do here? ¿Qué vamos a hacer aquí? Básicamente, si ustedes quieren dar información o pedir información, eh, hay unas pequeñas palabritas en inglés that we're going to say questions word o WH word. In English, the most common are this, who, where, uh, when, why. why, what, and how. What does it mean each one of these? What does it mean this one? Who? Quien. Quien. Yeah, really good. When we ask about a person, cuando preguntamos acerca de una, Persona, quién, por ejemplo, quién es ella, quién es él, quién es mi jefe, eh, entre otras cosas que podemos decir. Who is that woman, for example, right? Then we're going to have word. What is word? Donde. Donde. Pretty good. We ask for, for in a specific information, right? Eh, when we ask him or what a place or position. Cuando preguntamos acerca de un lugar o posición de algo. Muy bien. Then we're going to have when. Cuando. Cuando. Really good. Cuando. When we ask about time, occasion, or moment. For example, when can I see you? When can I see you? Uh -huh. What does it mean this? Cuando puedo ver. Cuando lo puedo ver. Cuando lo okay. puedo ver. ¿Cuándo te puedo ver? Muy bien. Entonces, estamos preguntando. Tiempo. Yeah, time and information, right? Información acerca de tiempo o una ocasión. Muy bien, really good. Ok, then we got it. Why? Why? What does it mean? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? Really good. Asking for reason. Preguntamos una razón. ¿Por qué esto? Why? Es todo, right? Then we're going to have what? What? Okay. 
How? Como. Como. Asking for a way. Preguntamos una forma de hacer algo, como esto, como el otro, but no de comer, sino de hacer el proceso. Muy bien, really good. Ok, student, but now we focus on these two ones. Vamos a enfocarnos en esta cosa. Where and when. Dónde y cuándo. Estos son las WH words uh, que preguntan más acerca de la información. Ok, let's see this. Ok, um, we got this example, students. Uh, we're going to have camp for information and camp for possibility. What's the difference that you see between both? ¿Cuál es la diferencia que ven en camp for information or possibility? Cuando hacemos esa pregunta. Ajá. Doble. Doble word. Ok, ya, yeah, WH word. When we ask for information, we're going to use WH word. Where or when. Dónde y cuándo. Porque estas dos en un trabajo es lo que más nos sirve. ¿Dónde hago esto? ¿Cuándo voy a hacer esto? Right? No preguntamos por una razón, sino que solo debemos hacer nuestro work. Really good. Ok, and for possibility, we're going to use can't, right? Solo utilizamos can. Ok, let's see an example here. Ok, veamos acá. Ok, Fernando, eh, how do you say in English? Um, veamos cuándo puede ella apilar los nuevos productos. ¿Cuándo puede ella apilar los nuevos productos? En In inglés. When can she start the new project? Ok, really good. Thank you, Fernando. Congratulations. When, right? When can she start all the new products? Really good. Eh, en este caso, we are asking for information. ¿A quién le vamos a hacer esta pregunta? Obviamente a un boss, right? A nuestro jefe que nos va a decir tomorrow, today, next week, I don't know, right? Ok, really good. Marlon Ernesto, when you ask for possibility eh, y usted quiere preguntar acerca de una posibilidad y quiere decir eh, a su jefe, ¿puedo eh, almacenar los nuevos productos? Una posibilidad, right? ¿Cómo diría eso, Marlon Ernesto? Can I start a new product? Yeah, really good. Nice. Congratulations. Really good. Okay, students, as you see, this is really easy, right? Esto está bastante, bastante fácil. I, I can notice that you understand all of this. I don't know if you have a question about this. Questions? No questions? No Clear like a chocolate. Yeah. No <laughs> okay. okay, everything is clear, really good. Okay, if everything is clear, student, we're gonna practice together. Para corroborar, we're gonna practice together about this. What you're gonna do here? You have to read the following statement and write a question about it. How come? Let's see. ¿Cómo así? Vamos a leer esta y tienen que formular la pregunta. Ok, veamos ahí. Eh, you're going to have one minute. Van a tener un minutito. Veanlas todas. Elijan una. Eh, cásense con ellas y vamos a ir en orden. Ok, one minute. Lean la sentence and try to create the question. Right? En algunas solo van a ir can y otras tienen que llamar when or where. Okay, 30 seconds. I think you got it. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> mm. 
โอเคบริกิตโอเคไทม์อิสระโอเคสุดเลยเราจะดูนี้เราจะเริ่มกันที่คนที่ได้คนแรกที่ได้คนแรกใครจะได้คนที่สองสติกเกอร์ยับคุณสามารถใช้ได้โอเคโอเคอ่าฮะต้องรีพีทอีกทีหนึ่งคาร์ลส์นัมเบอร์หนึ่ง where can you store them โอเค where can you store them yes where can you store yeah really good nice โอเค really good Ok, it's almost the same, right? Eh, Carlos Enrique no se complicó, así que congratulations. Me gustó la, la questions ahí. Él la hizo más resumida. Puede decirlo como lo dijo Carlos. Where can I store them? Or, or where can I stack all the new products? Whatever you want, right? It's okay, I really good. Congratulations, Carlos Enrique. Thank you. Nice. Ok, number two. Who got number two? Can she sing the form? Okay, really good, Tatiana. Can you repeat it again? Sign, sign. Can can she sign the form? Okay, really good. Let's see. Yeah, congratulations, Tatiana. Really good. Applause for Tatiana, right? Can she sing the form? Really, really good. Okay, muy bien. Okay, who got number three? Uh -huh. A student, don't be shy, you can do it. Number three. Veamos, vamos a ver los rostros, a ver quién quiere contestarla. Okay, let's see. <laughs> okay. Uh, hi. Yeah, yeah, okay. Is, can we move all the tele, television? Okay, okay. Really can good. we move? Can we move, right, all the television? Yeah, really good. Congratulations, Carlos. Nice. You did a great job. Okay, <coughs> creo que vamos a poner una cancioncita ahí para que lo hagan bien, para que no pase lo muy aburrido. That's good. Okay, number four. Who got number four? Wait. Can they pile up the boxes tomorrow? Okay, okay. Repeat it again. Sorry. Uh, can they pile up the boxes tomorrow? Okay, really good. Yeah. When, 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 yeah. when can they pile up the boxes, right? Pero en la forma que lo dijo José, también es correcto, válido, muy bien. Really good, nice. Okay, number five. Look at number five. Can you store the nighting card on my work house? Okay, repeat it again, Fernando. Can you store the nighting card on my work house? Okay, really good. Nice. Okay, let's see. You can use in that way. Both okay. can use, right? Thank you, Carlos. I'm sorry, Fernando. Where can I store the night cards? Really good. Ahí, estábamos cerca. Eso es genial. Muy bien. Okay. Uh, and the last one. <laughs> es la más difícil ahí. Háganse como que no la están bien. Okay. Muy bien. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Read, teacher. No. Yeah, you can read it. Go ahead. Can I give you information of the product? Yeah, really good like this. Congratulations, Fernando. Hey. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay, students, as you see here, uh, we can use where or when. This one, 
si queremos información extra, si estamos pidiendo una posibilidad de algo, we're going to use can only, right? Solo can. Yeah, it's clear. It's clear, the two. Okay, you got a question about this? Questions? No question. No questions, really good. Uh, I really like this group. No hacen preguntas, eso es genial. Me dice que todo lo comprenden muy bien y rápido. Okay, let's continue with this. <clears throat> Okay, students, uh, uh, let's see some important words. Vamos a aprender ciertas palabras importantes. Why? Ustedes tienen nice pronunciations. You get a previous knowledge. Tienen un conocimiento previo. But when you are practicing each other, right? And when you are giving an example, most of the time, solo me dan el ejemplo. No me dicen ahí algo así que le pone la sal o la sugar, I don't know, to the sentence, right? So right now we're going to see an important word. Uh, we're going to start with this. In my experience. In my experience. What does it mean this? In my experience. Okay, really good. In my experience, right? In my experience, eso es cuando ustedes hablen de su trabajo, porque cada uno trabaja en una empresa diferente. Eh, solo son como dos, dos personas que trabajan en la misma empresa. <laughs> ok. <laughs> ok, that's good. Ok, what about this one? How do you say this one in English? In my case. In mi caso. En mi caso. In my case, students, comienzo a narrarles ahí mi historia, ahí forever alone, right? Okay, that's good. Uh, let's continue with this. <clears throat> uh, in my opinion. In my opinion. In my opinion, really good. Okay, students, in my opinion, I think this and this and this and this. Y comienzo a decir por ahí. Really good. Then we get a connection words. How do you say this? Okay. Um, and okay. 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 Also, yeah, también, really good. También. You have to say also. Also, right. Además. Or, yeah. Also. Adicionalmente. En adición. Adicionalmente. Adicionalmente, además. Muy bien, really good. In addition, in addition, in addition, right? Okay. In addition. Eh, ¿Ya se las sabían todas? Creo que sí. No. No. Okay, if you no. want, you can take notes, porque las vamos a utilizar from now on. De ahora en adelante se van a utilizar. Eh, cuando yo les pregunte algo, teacher, in my opinion, esto. Teacher, in my case, lo otro. Teacher, in my experience, this, right? Eh, y cuando unan dos cosas, por ejemplo, el día de ayer, we were talking about obligations. Eh, solo me decían, teacher, I have to drink coffee in the morning. Eh, mi jefe me obliga. <ríe> eh, y luego me decían la otra oración y así. Tenemos que entrelazarlas en then, also, in addition, and so on, right? Okay, take notes about this. In my opinion, in my experience, in my case, and then also in addition. Además, también, entonces, luego, y en mi caso, en mi experiencia, en mi opinión. It's clear? Yep. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yeah. You take notes already? 
Yeah. Ok. Sí. Yo sé que se van a acabar muchos cuadernos conmigo, pero more, right? We're gonna learn. Ok, that's good. Uh, let's continue with this. Ok. Sure. So, yeah, yeah. Tell me. Eh, ¿Nos va a compartir estas, estas diapositivas o, oh, teacher, question? Ok, <laughs> ok, it's a question, right? Marlon Ernesto, eh, um, on the platform, yes, teacher. Yeah, <laughs> ok, on the platform, you're going to find out the video, right? You can watch uh, several times, as many times as you can, tantas veces como sea necesario, en la plataforma. Todos los días va, se va a estar subiendo, ¿sí? Teacher, yo no puedo entrar a la plataforma, he intentado y no puedo. Ok, José eh, Jiménez, vamos a... We're going to talk about with the people in charge of that. Vamos a hablar con la persona a cargo de eso para poderle apoyar. If you want, <laughs> students, I can send you the link. Si quieren, les envío el link para que vean el video de, de la clase anterior en YouTube, right? Ok. Sí. Okay. Okay, really good. Okay, now it's time to practice together in a real situation, right? Uh, what we're gonna do here? ¿Qué vamos a hacer acá? Recuérdense que la práctica es lo más importante porque es donde nosotros ponemos ahí a prueba lo que hemos aprendido. Okay. Uh, what you gonna do here? You have to basically let me see. Write four sentences about things you can do at your workplace. Things you can do. Cosas que ustedes pueden hacer en su lugar de trabajo. Una posibilidad. For example, eh, Marvin eh, mencionó, parece que trabajaba to the airport. No. Yes. Yeah, really yes. Good. Okay. Puede ser que Marvin me diga, t-shirt. I, I, will, I can fly, you know, through an airplane. Es una posibilidad, una posibilidad. Entonces, eh, es una, an example, right? And you're going to write four sentences in the negative way, using cannot. Things that you cannot do at your workplace. When you finish these, cuatro de cada uno, cuando terminen esto, you have to ask a question for that information. Tienen que preguntarle a su compañero por esa información. ¿Cómo así? Veamos a typical question, right? What can you do at your workplace? What can you do at your workplace? ¿Qué puedes hacer en tu lugar de trabajo? Y usted dice, ah, mire, teacher, I can do this, I can do that, and so on, right? Ok, let's see an example. Eh, Fabricio, can you ask me these questions? Can you teacher? Yeah, can you ask me these questions? Can you ask uh, uh, lo que hago en mi trabajo? No, 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 ya, ya say this, this, this question. Que si ya, que si ya les, ah, read the, 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 the question. The question, the, the question, right. Ah, okay. What can you do at your place, to workplace? Okay, very good. In my example, at my workplace, I can write some documents and I can give information about specific topics, right? As you see here, we get a connector. Si ustedes notan acá, conectamos dos oraciones. Así que please use connector words. Las que ya vimos anteriormente. ¿Cuáles eran? And. 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 Also, also, in addition. In addition. Yeah, really good. Nice. Okay, students, uh, we're going to work in groups. Okay, we're going to work in groups. Uh, take notes about this. Tienen que hacer cuatro oraciones de cosas positivas que pueden hacer y cuatro oraciones de cosas negativas. And you have to ask this question, right? Okay, here we go. We're going to practice together. En el chat les voy a escribir la pregunta, así que don't worry about it, right? Okay, go ahead, practice each other, don't be shy, you can do it. Recuerden apoyarse entre ustedes, si hay alguien que no ha entendido y no ha entrado todavía, ustedes pueden apoyar. Okay, 
go ahead. We're going to work as a team, right? Okay, good luck. Practice. Okay, Miguel Crespin. Hello, Miguel. Hi, uh, sorry. Uh, se me fue la señal por un momento, pero ya, ya estoy acá nuevamente. Okay, okay, I'm going to assign to another group. Me voy a asignar a un grupo, así que please accept the invitation, right? Okay. Okay, go ahead. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Oh, <laughs> did you finish? No. No. <laughs> no. Teacher. Puedo, puedo poner una oración que diga puedo y no puedo. Yeah, yeah, sure, you can do it. Y me la toma como, como de una de las cuatro. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no problem. <laughs> Dice, well, no problem, Tatiana, go ahead. Things that you can't or you cannot do, right? I cannot. Okay. No, no, no. Okay, you got a questions? No questions? Question. Okay. Okay, so then, uh, continue working. I'll be back in a minute. Me regreso un instante cuando hayan finalizado para escucharlos when you're practicing, right? Okay, thank you. ¿Qué podrías hacer en tu trabajo? I can supervise some projects the construction the construction de mi trabajo okay okay how are you students did you finish Are you yet no. No less. Okay, questions? Kent, el Kent es de, de poder hacer, va. Yeah, yeah. De, de posibilidades. Yeah, really good. No es de trabajo. Por decir así, I can super uh, in my work. Yeah, yeah. 
I can supervise some projects, the construction. No, no, no es. No, yeah, you can use it like that. Si se puede usar así, Carlos. Se puede usar. Yo, uh, yo me imaginaba como, I can um, cook roast and beef. Yeah, and, that's an ability. Esa es una habilidad y también se puede utilizar para una posibilidad. Recuérdense que usted tiene una posibilidad to work for yeah. a company, right? Uh, that's why you can supervise eh, tal cosa. Así mm -hmm, que, mm -hmm. Habilidad. Y cuando usted me dice que puede cocinar o hacer algo rostizado, eh, ahí es una habilidad. Habilidad. Que utilizar. Solo que ahorita estamos en possibility, right? Cosas del trabajo. Del trabajo, correcto. Contestar. How do you say what? Contestar. Contestar. Okay, it could be a uh, answer. Uh, no, a phone, cell phone or phone. Uh, answer, a phone, answer my phone. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, really get more questions? No. No. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Uh, when you finish, you can practice each other, right? Okay. Hello, hello, how are you? How are you there? Hi, teacher. <laughs> are you working on the possibilities at the workplace? Yes, teacher. Okay, you have a question? Mm, no oh. question, teacher. Carlos Mejia, you got it? Uh, teacher. Yeah, yeah. Excuse me, uh, pregunto. Yeah. Este, eh, quisiera, bueno, he, he realizado unas preguntas, no sé, corríjame si me equivoco. Yeah, eh, sure. Este, he ocupado aquí, bueno, en las eh, cosas que yo hago, eh, por ejemplo, and repair in the air conditioner and also improve the machine. O sea, yo trabajo en el área de mantenimiento, ¿verdad? Okay, okay. Preparo aire acondicionado y además, eh, Eh, reviso la, maqui la maquinaria. Eh, yes. Está bien. Yeah, you can say all the things that you do, todas las cosas que ustedes hacen, but you have to use can or cannot. Si algo no lo puede hacer, igual ahí lo va a poner teacher. I cannot repair esto. No puedo reparar esto. Pero las cosas que usted sí puede reparar, teacher, I can repair eh, the mini split. I can repair uh fridge or refrigerator right todas las cosas que usted repara como usted me dice teacher eh, i can i can repair many things at my workplace puedo reparar muchas cosas en mi lugar de trabajo right oh, yeah. okay teacher okay you're Thank welcome you. work on this and when you finish you have to practice each other Y cuando terminen, practican entre ustedes y tienen que preguntarse eh, the questions that I'm going to write on the uh, chat. En el chat voy a escribir okay. la pregunta. Ok. Ok, teacher. Okay. Thank, Thank you, teacher. You. You're welcome. Thank you, teacher. Ok, you're welcome. Ok, I'll be back in a minute. Continue working. Thank you. Pregunta y que empiece Miguel haciéndonos la pregunta. Sure. Okay, everybody finish? <laughs> yeah. So, so. Okay, so, so. <laughs> ya casi, ¿cómo se dice ya casi? <laughs> Almost. Almost. ¿Cómo? Almost. ¿Cómo se dice? Almost. Carmen. No, almost. Almost. Ah, almost. <laughs> okay, really good. Okay, you got a question about almost. <laughs> Some don't have questions, teacher. No questions. Okay. I I don't have questions. I don't know my classmates. <laughs> uh -huh, students. More questions? No, right? Uh, I I don't I don't listen the question to do my department 
to my ah, partner. Okay, too. okay, Miguel, uh, you have to ask what can you do at your workplace? Eh, en el chat se las escribí, por si if you get a problem with this. What can uh, you do at your workplace? Okay. Your workplace. okay. Yeah. okay. Thanks. Uh, uh -huh. uh, uh, use uh, the doors. Uh, uh, a word, uh, a simple word. Yeah, yeah, with simple word, right? And also you have to add uh, connector words. Tienen que utilizar las palabras de conexión. And also, uh, las otras que vienen, right? Okay, I uh, continue Thank working on this. I'm gonna go to another group. Then I'm gonna be back in order to hear your sentences, right? All right. Okay. I'll be back Thank in a minute. Hello, students. Hello. How are you finished? Almost. 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 Okay, thank you. See you. We want to see Netflix too. <laughs> okay, okay, that's good. Amazing. Okay, uh, when you finish, students, uh, you can practice each other on the chat. I wrote the questions. What can you do at your workplace? Right? Okay. Eh, regreso un instante para escucharlos practicar. Uh, your sentences, right? Por favor, siempre utilicen los connector words, las palabras de conexión. Okay. Questions? No tienen questions? No. No, no solamente si tenemos algo malo nos corrija la oración. Ah, yeah, yeah, sure, I will do it. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Para ir puliendo el... Yeah, sure, when you practice, right? Don't worry, I'm going to be here for you. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. I'll be back in a minute. When we have a lot of cars, I can do it. nothing, just fix cars, but always I take five minutes to drink water or to go to the bathroom. Okay. Okay, sometimes, eh, algunas veces, ¿verdad? creo yo. And o algún tiempo. Sometimes. A veces, algunas veces. Ajá, uh -huh, sí, sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. Congratulations. Thank you, teacher. Okay, good. Okay, you are asking each other. Ya se están preguntando ustedes. Sí, yes, ahorita teacher. ya le pregunté a Marlon y Marlon me preguntó a mí también. Okay, very good. Okay, really good. Continue practice. I want to listen to you. Ah, pues te vuelvo a preguntar, Marlon. Ok. What can you do at your workplace? I can drink coffee. Um, I can send messages. Messages? Also, I can ask where personal cars. Really good. Ok. Um, when I am lunch time, I can see you also. Yeah, uh, I'm uh, meeting. I can can't ask where the phone. Really good. Okay, nice. Congratulations, Marlon. You did it really, really good. Okay, now Marlon asked to Rodrigo. What can you do at your workplace? I can fix mechanic issues and sometimes I can take a break, but it's not often. When I don't have to do anything to do, when I don't when I don't have anything to do, I can listen to music. Okay. Where we have a lot of cars, I don't I cannot do nothing, just fix cars, but always I can I take five minutes minutes to drink water or to go to the bathroom. 
okay, okay, I'm really good. Rodrigo and nice, congratulations. Good. I really like your pronunciation, right? Okay, uh, what about Wendy Bonilla? Wendy, are you there? Okay, I think Wendy uh, got a little problem with the internet connection, right? And okay, students, uh, continue working on this. We're gonna have more time. Vamos a tener un poquito más de tiempo, así que uh, thank you so much. And continue practice each other, right? Thank you. I'll be back in a minute. Bless you. Hi, <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Yes. <laughs> Ahorita ya compartimos los dos, pero bueno, podemos repetir si quiere. Pero... I want to listen to you. Right. Okay. What, what can you do at your workplace? I can write some code programs and addition testing application. I can attend in calls user. Then I cannot advance my work. I can work overtime from home. Also, I cannot other things in my home. Okay, really good. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Este, what do you what do you at your workplace? What do you can what can you do at your workplace? <laughs> I can check my email and I can answer the phone. I can give information to customer, but I cannot get at customer. Okay. I can la launch at 12 o'clock, also at one o'clock. I can get to work early, but I Cannot, cannot to be late. Mm -hmm. I cannot check my partner's email. I cannot eat in my office. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you are really honest, right, Tatiana? <laughs> Tatiana is muy honesta. Muy bien, that's good. <laughs> okay, okay, congratulations, students. You did it really good. Uh, I'm going to move to another group. Great job. Un buen trabajo. Thanks, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, hello, hello, student. Hi. Did you practice each other? Yes. Uh -huh. ¿Ya practicaron? More or less. More or less, okay. I, I want to listen to you again. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. My then uh, I can drink coffee in the morning. My drink, and I eat a little bread. Can answer phone every day, and I can help our client. Yep. I can take lunch at one o'clock p.m. Then I can brush my teeth. Uh, I can't use my phone in social network, but I can answer my phone. I can use internet for watch YouTube, and I can use printer for homework the English class. Okay, really, really good. Congratulations, amazing. Okay, uh, continue with asking to Carlos Enrique. The questions? Okay. Uh, Jose Angel. Okay. What you can do, what can you do at your play, workplace? Okay. I can read my cell phone and Tell my family I can 
full the supermarket. Okay. I can have a conversation my father. Okay, really good. Only. Okay, that's it, right? Okay, okay, really good. And now as to Carlos Enrique. The pregunta, okay. Yeah, yeah. The pregunta, Carlos. Uh -huh. Yeah, but, uh, but I think Carlos got a comment, <laughs> right? Yeah, no, I was Yeah, yeah. Uh, Carlos, uh, what? Carlos, what can you do? To your place. Okay, Carlos, are you there? I'm sorry. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't. No escuché, teacher. Okay. Se, se cayó el inter. Okay, okay, no problem, Carlos. Eh, José Ángel, eh, pregúntele nuevamente. Pregunta, correcto. Yeah. What, what can you do? Do I do workplace? Okay. Listen to me. Yeah. Okay, Carlos. What can uh, you do at your workplace? Or more or less, I I I can supervise okay. some projects. Okay. I can work in Saturday in the morning. Okay, really good. I can see my emails every day. Okay. I can drive my, my car at my in the morning. Again. Hola, hola. Hola, hello. Hola. Ok, Carlos. Um, negative. Ok, negative, go ahead. I can go my work at 8 a.m. Yeah. I can ride a motorcycle at yep. my work. Yeah. I can. I can see my telephone after at after that eight AM. Okay, really good, Carlos. I can play telephone of what? Okay, okay, that's good. Okay, Carlos, thank you so much. Yep. Okay, Carlos, that's good. That's thank good. you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, students, continue practice. I'll be back. Uh, I'm going to move to another group. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Good work. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Real. Y la parte alimenticia también. Ah, okay. Sí. Okay. Did you practice? Ya practicamos, teacher. Practicamos ahí. Practicando ahí. Hola, solo uno de ustedes who wants to practice with me. ¿Cómo? Who wants to practice with me? Eh, que uno de nosotros practique con, con yeah, yeah. Maestro. Um, yo, yo, maestro. Okay, Marvin, uh, what can you do at your workplace? Um, I can work on computer and use Excel. Uh, I can make salary form in addition, make invoice. Okay. Invoice. Uh, yeah. I can send emails, but also write, redactarlos. Okay. And 
por así decirlo, lo, lo que no puedo hacer o what I cannot do. Yeah. Eh, I can answer call because I am not in sale. Yeah. Sala de venta. Eh, I cannot repair computer or air conditioner. Okay. Uh, I cannot visit client because I do not leave uh, the office. Okay. No yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, congratulations, Marvin. Really, really nice work. Thank okay, you. thank you. Thank you, all of you guys. Uh, I'm going to move to the last group. And if you want, you can continue practice, right? Okay. Okay, okay, that's good. Really good work, amazing. Okay. Hello, hello. Did you practice right? Right. Yeah, sure. Cuando no puedas contestar algo, quédate así como Miguel. Qué bárbaro. Yeah, yeah. Que te diga. I got a problem with my internet connection, right? Yes. Okay, that's good. Did you practice? Did you practice, chicos? Yes, yes. Several yeah, times. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna ask you to uh, Carlos Alfonso. What can you do in your workplace? In my workplace, I can help from este also visit friends for business. Okay. Um, I can. The Facebook okay. and and eat the lunch in my desk. Okay, <laughs> very good, nice. <laughs> okay, congratulations, students. You did it really, really nice. Okay, good work. Finalizamos. Uh, I'm gonna move to the last group. Thank you. Okay. Welcome, teacher. Hello, thank you, sir. <laughs> okay. And did you practice already? Yeah, yeah teacher. Yeah, okay. Necesitamos la regañadita ahorita que nos corrija ahí nuestro. Okay, can you do it again? Okay, um, I know you're okay. Uh, Carlos, what, what can you do at your workplace? Uh, I can help with the computer and fix common trolls. I can teach about uh, software and install it. Okay. Also, I can clean the computer and fix it. In addition, I can make software and explain how to use it. Yes. But I can say about confidential information like user and password. I can teach how to hack information. Okay. Also, I can give the the source code of programs. In addition, I can delete important information. Okay, you're really nice, Carlos. René, uh, I want to ask you how to, how to, you know, I need to, that you teach me how to hack information. <laughs> <laughs> you can, right? yeah. it's, so, it's so dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good. Now, Carlos asked to Gabriela. Gabriela, what can you do at your workplace? Okay, in my case, I can make financial reports and I can check the expense documents for this. Also, I can do checks to pay the bills and taxes. Then my boss can sign sign it or sign it then. Teacher? Okay, uh, if you're talking about singular, it. Okay, if you sign, sign a lot of documents, then. Okay. Uh, in, in this case, it's about checks. Okay, checks. Okay, it will be 10. Okay, okay. And then my boss, my boss can sign them. But I, I can't sign the checks. I can't organize meetings. Also, I can't approve expenses. And I can mo modify the budget. The budget, right. The most important point, budget. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, that's good. Okay, really, really nice work. I like it. In this case, let me see uh, this one. Uh, Carlos and Gabriela, 
when you say this word, you can say it like this, important. 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 Yeah, yeah. Este y, y al final es como que ustedes hagan uh, un sonido en la garganta. Important. Yeah, important. Important. Important information. Important information. Important yeah, yeah. information. Eh, ajá. No tan así. Important. No. Important. 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 Mm, yeah, yeah, like this. Important. Yeah, yeah, like this, right? Important. Right. Important. Important. Yeah, like this. Uh, when you speak uh, a little bit faster, uh, you're gonna hear it like this. Important information. Oh, yeah. It's the same uh, when you pronounce accountant. Yeah, accountant. That's pretty okay. good. Okay. It's almost the same. Yeah, good. Oh. Okay, eh, el acento así, eh, American accent is really easy. Es muy fácil, solo hay que no tener pena. Y vamos a comernos algunas eh, eh, ahí. Palabras, right? Así que algunas las vamos a hacer así con la garganta. Mm. Mm -hmm. Estamos haciendo un bajo, right? Okay, okay really good. Okay, students, congratulations. Amazing, I really like your work. And we're gonna return to the main session, right? Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, bye-bye. Thank bye you. To me. Okay. Okay, students. That was a really hard and beautiful practice, right? I really like some of you practice um, a lot of things. Me di cuenta de muchas cosas que hacen en su trabajo y las que no pueden hacer, así que ya me sé sus debilidades ahí, right? <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding, right? Okay, students, uh, congratulations. All of you did it really, really, really good. Eh, Wendy Bonilla lo hizo muy bien, genial. Hello, how are you today? <laughs> Tenía problemas. Yeah, I know. It's kind of hard, but lo más importante es verla acá, Wendy. Vamos a continuar practicando, así que don't worry. Okay, students, uh, let's continue with today's class uh, because of the time. El tiempo se va rapidísimo. Es oro puro, así que hay que aprovecharlo al máximo. Let's continue with this. Okay. Uh, we practice already these real situations. You talk about things you can do and things you cannot do, right, at the workplace. And that's amazing. Okay, we're gonna continue with this. Uh, did you remember that the last class I told you that all the time you have to write a comment, sentence, or questions in the discussion box, right? Ya lo hicieron. No. <laughs> no, the chair, not yet. Okay, you have to do it, right? Okay, all the time, I'm going to do it with you. Para que ustedes vean ahí. Ya está eh, subido el video de yesterday class. Si ustedes notan, todos quedamos sumamente hermosos, especialmente yo. Ahí. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, you have to add the students, uh, in this case, the discussion box, a comment or a question, whatever you want, right? In my case, I'm gonna write a discussion. Uh, yesterday class was related to have for obligation, right? Yeah, okay. And I'm gonna write a sentence. I have to be on time. I like this sentence. And then I'm gonna click here and the comment or the post is uploaded already. Ok, that's good. Aquí alguien más escribió. Eh, vamos a ver qué dice. Uh, I have to brush my teeth three, three times a day. I must tell you something. Ok, really good. Congratulations. Who did it? Who wrote this? Yo lo puse. Ok, Tatiana, congratulations. Really good work. 
Ok, in that way you can interact each other, right? Aquí pueden agregar un comentario que ustedes quieran que siempre sea relacionado a la clase, right? No vamos ahí a hablar de cosas muy... Eh, que no tengan relación a la clase, right? Ahí si ustedes quieren dar un punto científico o la cura de alguna cosa, no se puede. We have to talk about only the classes that we were talking about, right? Okay, really good. Eh, continue with this. Eh, no olviden comentar en esa, en esa discussion box. It's really important for you. Y es nota. <laughs> Así que comenten ahí something related to the class. Really good. Okay, uh, right now we're going to see students, um, let me see, a listening lab, we're going to try to listen something. Vamos a escuchar algo y vamos a contestar unas pequeñas eh, questions. Así que, eh, póngale todo el volumen que se pueda eh, y para que se escuche muy bien. Okay, Fernando de Jesús Roldán, Luis Fernando. Okay, Fernando, uh, I'm going to read the attendance list in a minute, right? Vamos a, a pasar la, la, la lista en unos minutos, así que don't worry. <laughs> okay, that's good, students. I don't know if you have a questions. Questions about, about can for permission or possibility. Everything is clear? Everything is clear, teacher. Okay, that's good. Uh, if you don't have a questions, tengo unas preguntas entonces para ustedes about the topic, right? Okay, no pongan esa carita. I'm just kidding. Solo estoy bromeando. Así que uh, I'm just looking for the audio, right? Okay, give me a minute. Okay, that's good. This one. Okay, very good. Okay, students. Give me a second. Ya lo tenía listo, pero se me cerró, así que. Okay, I'm gonna look for it. Yes, here it is. Okay. Okay, here we go. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> okay. Ok, that's good, students. Eh, ok, ya lo tenía ready, pero no sé qué pasó. I don't know what happened there, but we're going to continue with this. Eh, se los tengo ready for tomorrow class, right? This audio. Ok, let's continue with this. Eh, right now, students, uh, you have to listen to me the following picture about this product, right? Did you remember that um, two class ago we were talking about a uh, feature? or characteristic of some product, right? Yes, did you remember? Yeah, do like this. Yeah, teacher, sure, of course. Okay, let's see. Uh, <laughs> we were talking about weight. What, what does it mean, weight? Weight. Peso. Peso, we get peso, right? The dimensions. Dimension. Yeah, in quantity. Cantidad. Medidas. Okay, quantity. Cantidad. Cantidad sería cuál. Okay, okay, here we go. Okay, please let's listen to my pronunciation. We're going to talk about the tablet. The tablet, uh, the weight for the tablet will be. 170 grams, right? Grams. Grams. 
Yeah, and the dimensions, 19.3 centimeters, right? Times, times, 13.7 centimeters, times, 1.3 centimeters, right? And the quantity that we have, tablet 200. Tenemos muchas tablets. Así que, that's amazing. Okay, really good. Ahora vamos con the televisions. ¿Quién quiere intentarlo? El libra se dice pounds. Pound. Eh, pulgadas se dice inch. Inch. Si son pulgadas varias, serían inches. Inches. Right? Okay, very good. Who wants to try to say the feature of the televisions? Television, television, uh, one, 112 uh, for, for three pounds. Really good. And television dimension uh, for 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 one three. Yes. Eh, se dijo que era inch in in for uh, twenty twenty six. Yeah. In. Eh, television qu quantity eh, yeah. one hundred. 100, really good. Thank you, Wendy. Okay, now we're gonna talk about refrigerators, right? Eh, Alguien que repare refrigerators? Ahí, yo sé que va a sonreír Carlos Mejía, así que él nos va a ayudar en este caso. Carlos. Okay, teacher. Refrigeration, refrigerator weight, um, 340 points. Yeah. Um, eh, excuse or, me. Yeah, yeah. La pleca, ¿cómo se pronuncia? No, no sé. You can say or. Este or. 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 Yeah. 418 pounds. Yeah. Perdón, three, three, four, uh, six, three, three, 300. 318 pounds. Yeah, really. Yeah. Yeah, pounds, yes. Pounds, okay. Yeah, refrigerator dimension, uh, 40, 48. 1-8, 1-8. 1-8, I see. 1-8. 1-8, 1-8, 1-8, inch. Inch, really good. Inch. Uh, refrigerator quantity, uh, 15. 50. Really nice. Thank you, Carlos Mejia. Okay, students, as you see, uh, in this case, most of the time, yeah, teacher. yeah, sure. Teacher, how do you say pulgar? Inch. 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 Uh. Inch. Really good. Okay, students, most of the time, we're going to see these kind of labels eh, in cualquier producto. If you work with refrigerators, if you work with tiki, with mini splits, with cars, siempre hay labels, siempre hay etiquetas. Esas etiquetas son importantes to understand. Si ustedes entienden esas etiquetas, créanme, vamos a hacer un, a better job, right? Okay, let's see this. Okay, students, right now, uh, we're gonna get some questions that we're gonna work together, right? Vamos a trabajarlas juntos. Eh, okay. Uh, answer these questions. Vamos a contestar estas preguntas. Así que veamos acá. Question number one for, uh, let me see. Mm -hmm. Carlos de Jesús, turn on the webcam, please. Fernando de Jesús, I'm sorry. Yeah. Fernando, eh, <laughs> también me va a ayudar a responder. Yes. And one person store all the television, oneself. ¿Cuántos televisions son? Two. Two hundred. 
Uh -huh. eh. Okay. Ah, no, no, 100. Okay, 100, right? Elevation. Yeah, yeah, sure. Entonces, eh, Fernando, ¿usted cree que una persona puede store all the television? No. Yes or not? <laughs> Fernando. No, sir. No, right? Entonces, ¿cómo sería the possible answer? Eh. No. Can not one person store all the television once? Yeah, yeah, sure. No. He or she can't, right? No se puede. No puede guardar 100 eh, televisores por el sol. Okay, really good. Thank you, Fernando. Nice. Congratulations. Okay, right now we're going to go with, uh, let me see, Rodrigo. Yes, teacher. Yeah, where can you store 50 refrigerators? I think that I can't. Ah, uh, you cannot, right? But where, where, where you can store? Um. In your, where? Uh, where in your house? In the park? In a in a almacen, maybe. <laughs> a where? In almacen. Ah uh, yeah yeah, in the warehouse, warehouse, warehouse. Warehouse, really good. Thank you, Rodrigo. Okay, the last one, students. Uh, let me see. William, tiene, tiene cara ahí de que si quiere participar, William. Go ahead. Can you store the tablet on the shelves? ¿Qué era shelves? Eh, estante. Yeah, really good. Can you store them? One hundred. Yeah, two hundred. <laughs> two hundred, of course, two hundred. Uh, yeah. Uh, store the, the tablets. Uh -huh. You can or you cannot? Como? You can or you cannot? Can. Can. Yes? Yes, I can. Yes, yes I, I can. can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Really good. Yes, I can is a short answer, or you can say, yes, I can store the tablet on the shelf. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really good. Okay, thank you, uh, Williams and Carlos Alfonso. Congratulations. Ambos eh, lo terminaron, así que vamos muy bien. Okay, students, um, right now, vamos a pasar lista again. <laughs> okay. Okay, where is that uh, tandem list? A minute break. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay, uh, let me see. Uh, Jaime Ernesto Hernandez Navarrete. No, right? Okay, very good. Uh, Wendy Saray Bonilla Ordoñez. Present. Say present. Present, <laughs> Nice. Ok, 10 le pusimos ahí. Ok. No. <risa> ok. Uh, Fernando de Jesús, Roldán Torres. Present teacher. Le quieres, Fernando. Ok, here we go. Carlos Antonio Mejía. Present teacher. Le quieres, Carlos. Congratulations. Ok, a uh, Rodrigo Alexander Maravilla Vázquez. Present teacher. Really good. Okay, right now we're gonna go with Clarissa Yamilet Chacon. Clarissa, are you there? Okay. Uh, Daisy Elizabeth Recino Alvarez. All right. Okay, that's good. Ahí estamos, chicos. Uh, okay, that's the attendance. And we're gonna continue with today's class. Right now, 
what we're gonna do is an interesting things, right? Vamos a hacer algo interesante. We're gonna read according to the label. Vamos a leer. Eh, it's a time to read it. Es tiempo de la lectura. Así que vamos a leer algo sobre eh, las labels, right? Labels. Okay. We're gonna see labels. Okay, this is the manual, right? Uh, on the platform, you can find all of this material. In la plataforma está todo el material para ustedes. Descarguen, no estudien. No. Ah, okay. Thank you, Wendy. Really good. <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay, here we go. Me quedo antes de la pandemia. Oh, okay, really nice. <laughs> Y a ella es la envidia de los compañeros, tiene el manual así en físico. Ok, really good. Ok, students, we got some symbols packaging, right? Tenemos algunos símbolos de los empaques. This is a label. ¿Se han fijado una sombrillita que aparece ahí en los empaques? Yeah. Uh -huh. Ok, una sombrillita, esta copita, no es que tomó mucho ni nada de eso. Vamos a ver qué significa cada una de ellas en inglés, right? Ok, let's get a start together. Eh, vamos a iniciar con this umbrella. Who wants to read the, the, the definitions? ¿Pueden ver la definición? Hágalo más grande. Like this? Ahí. Yeah. Ahí. <laughs> ok, ok. That's good. Sorry. Ok, go ahead. Who wants to start with the first one? This one. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Wendy. Go ahead, Wendy. You can do it. <laughs> Bien. Uh, umbrella. This symbol remains those handle the package to the can or other of the rain yeah. and not and not not to the store in the drum dam condition. condition. It is normally found in car. Basset package, which which will be the if placed in contact with water. 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 Really good. Nice. Okay, as you see here, students, eh, cuando vemos la sombrillita, ¿qué nos dice? ¿Cómo debe manejarse este paquete? What is rain? Rain. Rain, lluvia. Lluvia, entonces tiene que exponerse o no a la lluvia. Up off, up no, off. Ponerse. Keep out es mantener lejos o fuera de la lluvia. Yeah, really good. Keep out of, of the rain. Really good. Nice. Cuando le damos la sombrillita en un paquete, eh, no lo expongamos a la lluvia. Muy bien, o algo húmedo. Muy bien. Y se ponga. We're going to run quickly. Vamos a ver. This one. Okay, uh, Marvin, go ahead. Okay, um, the broken, the broken wine glass tubes that the product inside the packing, packing him yeah. could be easily damaged, damaged, damaged if yeah. drooped, is drooped or handled without care and attention the contents are fragile okay really good this is the key of this symbol right esta es la clave de este symbol okay. qué pasa cuando vemos este symbol fragile yeah fragile broken wood glass yeah lo de adentro es frágil probablemente están transportando computadoras o tablet y ahí se les ocurre a alguien sentarse sobre la caja ya saben qué pasó y por qué llegó mal right Okay, really good. Okay, let's continue with this. If we got these two hands, these two hands, con esta cajita, veamos ahí, Carlos Alfonso, que nos dice acá. Okay. The two hands holding or protecting the, the package is another remitter. Okay, reminder. Is another reminder that the contents should 
be handled with care. Okay, thank you. This is the key, right? ¿Qué nos está diciendo estas dos manitos ahí con la cajita? That the content inside should be handled with care. Tiene que tratarse con cuidado, cariño, mucho amor, right? Okay, really good. Okay, let's continue with this symbol, right? Estas dos casitas, estas dos flechitas. Jorge Alberto nos va a explicar what does it mean. Go ahead, Jorge. Chamber C opositor press to handle the package that is must be stored the right way up. The arm point toward the tops of the package. Really good. Thank you, Jorge. Okay, what does it mean these two arrows? ¿Qué significan estas dos flechitas para arriba? Ahí está la clave. Que tienen que ir en la misma posición okay. o en la misma altura. Ok, really que tienen que almacenarse las okay. rayitas hacia arriba en esa posición. Really que, thank you, Wendy. No se debe de poner así, que va a mirar para otro lado. Muy bien. Ok, really que. Veamos these symbols. Este, este, esta cuestión acá. Muy bien, really que. Uh, Fabricio, go ahead. Claro, pura. No sé si me lo puedes The symbol. Showing the thermometer, thermo, thermometer, thermometer, oh. thermometer. Thermometer is a phone mainly on package containing food and drink. The symbol clearly show that the contents show the store at temperature between 10 and 20 degrees centigrade. Yeah, what does it mean this symbol, right? Es que el alimento, los alimentos de, eh, pues, el tanto el alimento como la bebida tienen una temperatura controlada entre 10 y 20 centígrados. Okay. El, ¿hmm? No debe de perder esa línea. Ajá. Si se pierde esa línea, what's happened? Yeah. Y cuando, when we received the product, cuando recibimos el producto, ah, esto no servía, me lo dieron malo. Fue el manejo de este producto. Muy bien, mm -hmm. really. Then, students, uh, we're going to find out another symbol. This cute, like a little form. And Carlos René eh, nos va a decir, what does it mean this? Ok, Carlos René Hernández. The, tele, the telephone attached to the letter Q means that if you are not happy with the quality of the product package contents, yeah. you can ring a customer service number. This is normally placed very close to the symbol. Okay, really good. Thank you, Carlos. What does it mean, Carlos, this symbol? What is telling to do when you see this in a box? ¿Qué nos dice? Dice que, se, dice que si, el te, si el teléfono está asuntado con la, a la letra Q, significa que si tú no estás feliz con la calidad del producto del, del contenido del paquete, tú puedes llamar a la, a servicio al cliente, bueno, el número de servicio al cliente, y esto es normalmente, quiero ver... Colocado muy cerca del símbolo. Yeah, really good. Cerca del símbolo vamos a encontrar el número del mm -hmm. servicio al cliente en donde nosotros podemos dar nuestra felicitaciones o nuestro disgusto about a product, right? Casi siempre va a ser lo segundo. Ok, really good. Uh, continue with this one, with this face, happy face. Ok, uh, let's see. Tatiana. Go ahead, Tatiana. Customer satisfaction symbol. Yes. Sing on some packaging. No, 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 no,
Packaging. Packaging. Yeah. Oh, gracias. Think on some packaging to indicate a certification is a state statement. Yeah, really good. Uh, this product has been prepared for your enjoyment if you are not comple complementary. Okay. Complementary. Complete. Complete. Completely. Yeah, yeah. Com completely. Certified. Please room return the product and its packaging to really good, nice. Okay, what does it mean? This happy face is a symbol of the client satisfaction. Okay, really nice. Good, thank you. Okay, these symbols. What about these symbols? Uh, veamos acá, Gabriela. The symbols. Okay. This one. And the vegetarian symbol as a tick in its center. This means that the contents are suitable, suitable for vegetarian food. Okay, really good. Thank you, Gabriela. Okay, what does it mean these symbols? Um, que es como para verif no verificar, como para confirmar que el contenido del, de los productos eh, lo pueden comer los vegetarianos. Okay, really good. Thank you. For vegans, right? Este símbolo, este símbolo también se puede utilizar. También este, vegetarians or vegan persons. And this one, students, is uh, este es signo de admiración, allergic advice. Está diciendo que puede ser algo que es alérgico y tenemos que tener cuidado. Y este gluten-free, libre de, de gluten. Para los que no quieren engordarse. Eh, <laughs> no, esa es para los que no son tolerantes al gluten. Tolerantes al, al gluten, yeah. Thank you, Wendy. <laughs> really good. Okay, y este cucharita acá eh, significa what? Ingredient symbols, right? Es un símbolo de ingredientes. Eh, Para mezclar ingredientes que requieren de peso. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. Ese sale mucho en recetas de cocina, ese símbolo. Yeah, nice. Really good. Y este otro símbolo muy importante que es de algo. Ecológico. Logical, really good. Okay, students, I don't know if you have a question so far. Questions about today's class? No. No questions? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, uh, we were talking about what? What was today's talk? ¿Cuál era el tema de ahora? Uh, Wendy dice que no, ya no, no, no se mete en eso porque entró ahí. No estuve al inicio. inicio, ok, that's me. Obligation, obligation, have to, has to. Ok, really? Are you sure, Marvin? Obligation, have to, has to. Ok. Yeah. okay. And for information and okay. possibility. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Hey, Marvin, uh, mm -hmm. has to and have to was yesterday's topic, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Ay, no. Amazing. Pero me dice que sí están poniendo atención, right? Porque Marvin sí. está la yeah. Okay, that's good. Okay, students, uh, it's a pleasure to see you today. That's a really, really nice group. Amazing. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Take care. Y no olviden las personas que les toca la clase de refuerzo. Please, I see you in a minute. Son seis personas. Eh, se las voy a leer por si se les ha olvidado. 
eh, Jaime Ernesto Hernández Navarrete, José Vladimir Jiménez Escobar, Carlos Enrique Martínez Genoves, Wendy Saraí Bonilla Ordóñez y José Ángel Santos Martínez. Eh, ahí les mandaron exactamente a la hora que van a entrar. Eh, los veo a ellos. Minutes, right? Son 10 minutos para cada uno, así que eh, hagan las preguntas que ustedes deseen saber acerca de la clase. Right? <laughs> ok, that's good. And that's it for today's class, students. Okay. Bye, bye. Take care. See you tomorrow. Good night. I see tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.